making a favorite dish of mine that I've been making for years, and uh, it's always been a wonderful dish and an amazing palate uh, to work with. Now, first I want to bring your attention to the garlic. You see here the brownish skin on this garlic. And at Stop and Shop, they said this garlic was from Venezuela. And that's what I've been getting for a while now. Okay, I know my garlic. This also has a purplish uh, on the outside a little bit. And then this one here, which said it was from Venezuela as well. I do not believe it. Totally different colors. And the taste is different. The smell is different. What I believe Stop and Shop has been doing for a while is putting Chinese garlic and saying it's from Portugal or Argentina or Venezuela. Okay? This has been going on for a while now. But anytime you see garlic that looks like this, all right, don't trust it. This is the type of skin you want on the garlic. Anyway, moving on. So right here, I like to make Brussels sprouts. It is a favorite pastime of mine. And I add onions, cut julienne style, as well as red bell pepper, cut the same. And a little bit of olive oil and some choice spices. And I'm not going to uh, go into the spices, but you can see basically what they are. I will show you this one. This is a salt-free garlic and herb. Kind of like a Mrs. Dash. Um, but better. I think it's better. And it's cheaper. And you need the smoked paprika. The ground ancho chili. Tiny bit of sea salt. Oh, yeah. And, you know, you can add uh, other stuff to it. I tried this sweet heat rub. Garlic coffee molasses. And I'll tell you, I put a little of this on there, and it is wonderful. But if you're going to put that on there, because that has salt in it. Do you see that? So I will not put the sea salt on there. And a little bit of garlic powder. Because I like a lot of garlic. And now, after you put the spices on, you're going to want to rub it all through so the olive oil coats everything. And then you're going to want to put the Brussels sprouts down like that. All the way around. You're going to want to keep the Brussels sprout cut in half, but down. So it's going to be like this all the way around once you mix up all the other stuff. Okay? You put it in the oven at 350 for approximately 50, 50 minutes and you'll see that 
the leaves will start to get a brownish color and the underside will be a golden brown. That's when you know it's done. This is one of my favorite dishes. It's very healthy for you. You can even add some butternut squash cut up into one inch increments. And that comes out great. In fact, I was looking for butternut squash, but I could not find it. I thought I had some. I don't. So I'm going to have to go without it this time. But wanted to just show you and share this recipe with you. Bon appetit.